Hey guys, John here. Today's patch in SAR is called the Pharaoh's Curse. This one's a little weird. It kind of sounded Egyptian-y, so I kind of went with that vibe and built a lot of stuff around that patch to kind of make it more Egyptian-y, I guess, or kind of just follow that timeline. So with that being said, this is the Pharaoh's Curse. Enjoy. Alright, that was the Pharaoh's Curse. So before we get into this patch recreation, there's three main things about this that we do need to talk about. The first one is going to be, what does it sound like? So obviously this sounds like this. Kind of dark, ominous, weird, unsettling kind of feeling to really bring that character to life. Not something that we listen to on a sunny day on the beach drinking pina coladas with our buddies. The next thing that's important for this patch is going to be this glide time over here. So what we're doing here, this thing. That's really going to help play into this whole vibe. And last but not least is going to be the scale that we're going to be playing these notes in. So if you right click up here on this keyboard, we can see that this is root C and it's going to be on the scale other Arabic. So with those three things that really kind of brings this patch more appropriate to the sound that we're kind of going for here. And then from there, it's just kind of building up with different sounds that we have and kind of really just painting that picture, more of a sonic audio picture. You know, it starts off ominous and kind of creepy-like, and then it kind of comes in with this weird patch here. So with that being said, let's dive into it and see how it was created. So on the level, it's going to be zero. Actually, I move that here. It should be zero, and then panning zero as well, so don't worry about these two. For the envelope, attack is going to be at the bottom, decay sustained at the top, and the release at the bottom. Transposition is going to be zero, so don't mess with this one here. Now for the glide time, this is important here. So for the glide time, this is going to be on static, and if you don't know what any of this stuff means, I have a whole course for SAR that you can go through if you'd like to. With that being said, this is going to be on static, and this one's going to be on held. Now the glide time is at 34%. You can definitely experiment with the different values here, but it does seem that 34 was a decent middle ground for this patch here. <laughs> It's not too much glad, but it's not too little, but you definitely get that vibe of it. Now with these three switches, these are all off here. We're going to be using eight voices of unison, the detune 25 and the panning is strangely enough at zero because this seems like a patch that kind of is kind of lead, but it's also bass kind of thing. It's kind of hard to categorize this one, but basically it's kind of more narrowed down and kind of just holding the forefront while we can build other stuff around that. So other than that, the noise and the sync frequency are going to be down. The switch is going to be off. And then these three switches are all off as well. But we are using some saw, some sub saw here. So the level is 100%, the phase at 100, and then the uh, the octave minus one. And the detune is quite healthy at 56%. That really gives that detune-y kind of dissonant sound here. Because if we drag this down here, it sounds almost too power chordy. That sounds a little bit better in that sense. Now for this uh, filter here, we're going to be using the cutoff is at 94%, the resonance 13, keyboard and velocity tracking are down, the mode is the low pass 12. Now for our envelope down here, the amplitude is all the way at the top, should be 100%, it was at 99, but it's all the way at the top here. The attack 4.864 seconds, these, less, or these are the three sliders all the way at the top, and this is going to be targeting the sub phase, so over here. And then the LFO section, we're not using this for this patch here, so we can uh, safely go over that. As you can see, this amplitude is at zero, so this isn't affecting anything here. Now for our effects here, let's click this little hidden icon here. So let's turn these off and just see what the dry patch would sound like. So we had reverb, we had delay, and we had chorus. So the core nastiness is already there. Now these effects are just kind of just bringing it a little bit more to life. So let's add some chorus in here. Now just that switch makes it a lot larger than live, you know what I'm saying? So this depth, 50%, rate, 25, and mix, 30%. Skipping over phaser, going over to delay. 
Now, these, this left is going to be 3 over 16, the right 3 over 16, feedback 30, depth 25, low cut 0, which we could change if we'd like to, high cut 99, mix at 50. And then last but not least, the reverb to kind of make it a, give it a, give it a room that it can hang out in. Decay is going to be 50%, high cut 50, dampening 50, and mix 50. So pretty much 50 for a lot of stuff. The range for the arpeggiator, I kind of played around with that a little bit, but decided I didn't really want to use it. So if you're kind of wondering why is this selected on two and this is off, that is why. So moving on from there, we should talk We should talk about the, uh, the effects here. So this EQ is a little bit, I guess, kind of drastic in that sense. But fitting this in the mix with a lot of different stuff, you definitely have to change the EQ curve accordingly. Yours could vary depending on what you're using the patch for, but this one here is a uh, a cutoff here at 101 hertz, and then I kind of take out some mud at 268, taking out some of the harsh stuff at about 3k, 3.2k, and then boosting the kind of airy stuff later on to kind of really get that crackly, smooth top end to kind of shine, and then doing some uh, compression here with uh, with ozone here, this nice vintage compressor here, just to kind of keep all the dy dynamics in check there. And then also sending this to our additional lovely Valhalla Reverb. Now that's basically what's going on within this patch here. Those other voices and a lot of the other stuff is stuff I just kind of built around it to kind of really set the stage for this patch to shine at the very end there. And then I'm also using this patch here in this section of the song to kind of really sound like something's kind of coming in, something's breaking up to kind of build that tension here. So take a look at these like kind of random notes where it almost sounds like a cable's not connected properly and there's something wrong and that's kind of how you build that tension there. So take a look at this pattern 15 here. I don't know why it's on drum max, but you get the point. So that's kind of foreshadowing this patch before it comes in and then it comes in there and yeah that's pretty much how this patch works if you'd like to get a free copy of it there's a link in the video description below but like i say in other videos i'm saving these not in this main preset window here but if you click this little triangle here i save it through this preset setting here and then it's going to be loaded up here so it's a lot easier i think and more organized to stay that way it kind of keeps things consistent throughout fl studio so yeah, that's how you do that. If you don't know how to install that, you can always load up the plugin and then go to the triangle drop down, hit save preset as, and it'll open up a directory and that's where you'd want to copy it into. I would also suggest to make a folder within that. If you collect a lot of different patches from, you can just put it in one folder there. So that way, once you load uh, patches here, you have different folders so you can kind of go through. So it's not just a thousand different presets from a thousand different people and you kind of, you forget after a while, where do these presets come from and so on and so forth. So it's a good way to stay organized in the future. So with that being said, let's play us out with the Pharaoh's Curse. Hope you enjoyed this one. It's probably one of the uh, most weird videos I've done with uh, <laughs> with any of them. So uh, enjoy the Pharaoh's Curse. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.